I'm DJ D. And this is the Adam Split Rockin' the Adam Split Rockin' and Drawn Podcast. Rockin' and Drawn Podcast. And, and today we're talking about who would play our characters in a Hollywood movie. All right. Excellent talk. Yeah, this will be fun. Okay. So. All right. Well, you've given it more thought than me, so. Yeah. Um. All right. So the first person that. I got down was JT, and I was thinking Seth Rogen. Okay. Seth Rogen can play him. Yeah, you know what? I thought that too, actually. You thought that too? I mean, I said I didn't. I said I didn't really think of things, but that his he did pop into my head. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier when we were to talk about this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's probably a little bit too old now, but yeah. Well, he All might. Right. He might be. Um, we, they could de-age him. But he, he's got, uh, got that personality. Yeah, he's got the personality. And that's important. I mean, you can you can work with... You can get a little makeup. Uh, all right, so... Now, I, I could go with... Um, like, uh, let's see. Um, what's his name from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Adam Sandberg. Oh, yeah. He's pretty. He's not blonde, but yeah. Well, no, JT is not blonde. Right. Or, or the guy that plays his little buddy on there. I don't know what his name is, but that'd be pretty funny. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, let's see. Sec, hold on. Second, okay, for Gracie. I got Catherine Langford. Catherine Langford. Mm, okay, so I don't know who that is. So I'm gonna look it up. She was in a she, she was in a Netflix show called Thirteen Reasons Why. Was she in Knives Out? Yeah, she was in Knives Out too. I think. Okay. She's a redhead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's cute. Yeah, she's a redhead. I'm allowed to say that. And at first, I was I was thinking about um, obviously Scarlett Johansson, but then I was thinking, why is Scarlett yeah, Johansson? I thought about it. So she's in every comic book movie, right? And uh, I was like, what about the gal that played uh, Phoenix, the new gal, Dark Phoenix? Oh, yeah, she's probably t- Dark Phoenix. So somebody. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I know you're talking Probably about. Probably not out, outgoing enough. Yeah. Catherine Lang. Oh, she's Australian. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I like she it. can do comedies because she is in Knives Out. Yeah. And this is mainly a comedy, which is why yeah. I got for Disaster Chris Pratt. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, I was thinking Keanu. <laughs> I thought about that too, and I also thought Tom Holland. But I didn't think, yeah. I didn't think yeah. Tom Holland was built enough. Maybe Chris Pratt is a little too built. Right, right. But um, still, I think like for working for this for this comedy, he would be he would be the best. Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right. It's got to be a couple other choices, though. Well, let's see. Hmm. I was thinking... Did you have a backup? Yeah, well, I, Tom Holland. And then I was right. thinking Chris Pratt could be JT because he's younger than Seth Rogen. But... I yeah, like, he's kind of goofy like that. I'd like... Yeah. I still, but I still would rather see Seth Rogen and Chris Pratt... Or, or Tom Holland. I mean, Tom Holland, he'd have to... Like, now, um, I know Robert Patterson's playing the new Batman, but he might make a good disaster. Well, I think he's too... Um, Is he too, too brooding? Yeah, I think he's too straight of an actor, not comic enough. Yeah. yeah. Tom Holland is comic-y. Yeah. Chris Pratt is definitely comic-y. Um... 
Hmm. So that yeah, that's why I went with them. But who knows? I mean, maybe maybe we'll get a uh, Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, you know, um, well, he's a little bit older, but the guy that plays on the Expanse, the the lead hero, he, he would be good too. I don't know his name, but hmm. okay. All right. Um. So for Colby, I put Decray Montgomery. Say woo! Decree, Decree Montgomery. He's he's on Stranger Things. Ah, okay. How do you spell Decree? D A C R E. Okay, got it. Let me look this up. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got the body. I don't know if he can do comedy. I think he can. Um, but he's definitely got the body for. Colby, who always wanted to be, like, the most athletic. Yeah. Even though Chris Pratt would make Disaster quite athletic. But, um... Okay. All right, so, Peevil. Mmm. It's the coveted role. The bad guy. But I'm going with the classic bad guy man, Alan Rickman. He was Hans Grieber in Die Hard. But he's dead. Well, I mean, this is... It's a fantasy, though. It's... Um, Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's a... I mean, right now, it's a fantasy. I mean, who... I don't know. You gotta have somebody with a long face and a kind of long nose... You might have to even use a prosthetic nose. You know who would be perfect? Jim Carrey. Oh, I hate him, but... Yeah, Jim Carrey. That would be good. <laughs> I hate that guy, but hey, he would be good as people. Yeah. All right, I'm going to strike Myself. strike out Alan Rigman, put in Jim Carrey. <laughs> like, uh, uh, what was the unfortunate events? Yeah, he was Count Olaf. Yeah, Count Olaf. Yeah. Okay. Or, uh... What's his name? Old blonde guy. Ian something. Mm. Well, no. Palpatine would be good as people. Although he's too old. Yeah, he's too old. Um, What's that other guy that's... He was in Star Trek... He was in Clockwork Orange. Is it an Ian something? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I don't really watch Star Trek. Oh, you're just missing out. I, I mean, I tried. Which Star Trek are you talking about? No, I'm just, he was like in one of the movies. Ian Somhandler could play Disaster, now that I searched the name Ian. He's a good-looking guy. Okay. He was on the Vampire Diaries. Diaries. Oh, right. The guy with the long hair? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's okay. a good idea. I think he's doing a, a comedy now, too, on Netflix. A vampire comedy. How you spell his last name? Uh, Somer Hodler. S O M E R H A L D E R. He's a good looking bloke. He's better looking than me. <laughs> yeah. What was that guy? Uh, Malcolm McDowell. Oh, Malcolm yeah. McDowell, okay. Yeah, he's a little bit too old, but with with his hair up on the sides, yeah. He was in Planet of the Apes, too. He could be senior people. Yeah, in the... When they're doing from the nursing home. <laughs> um, I mean, even the Clockwork Orange early days, he looks kind of peevilish. Kind of crazy. 
Well, they could just uh, make, they could just do it with computers and and de Yeah. And he yeah. can he could just see the voice. Uh, all right, so. Hold on. All right, so for Stan, I have Clark Gregg. <laughs> Is that uh, the shield guy? Yep. Yeah. All right. Because he's got uh, he's he's got the age right. And yeah. you, you can get him to do like just yeah, just like a bald um mullet. Yep, and you'd be good to go. Now the the next one, the Jerry. I have um Johnny Depp. <laughs> he wouldn't do it. I mean, it's not a big enough of a role. Right. But he would be good. I mean, he's got the right age. And it's a comedy, and everybody knows he's good at comedies. So it would be great, but no? probably not going to happen. Um, let's see. Oh, and then finally, Bobby. Mm -hmm. Jack Black. I could see that. Uh, he seems a little young, but we can age him up. Yeah. Um, and I told you, Ian McShane was my first was my pick. And that's a good one too. Older Bobby. Um, yeah. All right. But can Ian, McSh Ian McShane do an, an American accent? Yeah. Well, isn't his accent in uh, John Wick American, or is it not? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> or in uh, Deadwood. Dead, Deadwood, he's kind of. I don't think he's. I think he's kind of English sounding. Is he? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I didn't really do a search of the Disney latest Disney kids actors because I probably could have picked a bunch of them, but. You know, we went for some classics here, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would, yeah, he would, I don't even know, like, what are you talking about, Musketeers? Whatever the Disney Channel's got going on, I don't know. Oh. Uh, that's, uh, they have, uh. Oh, my God, you know, Larry David would be the perfect people because he already looks like him. Uh, holy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's people. He's already people. Gosh, I just thought of that. I love it. I love his show. He he's he's people, man. No doubt about it. All right. He would never do it, but <laughs> he's covered. He looks like him and he acts like him. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. What's next? That's all I got. Those are the main characters. All right, man. Well, I think you got it. There's some other characters, I guess, but they don't really have huge parts. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. And so, all that being said, what the heck are you working on? I'm working on uh, page 132. Okay. And the page yep. before that, uh, Peel was insulted by his henchmen, Stan and Jerry. All right. And uh, so he's paying them back, Peel style. Yeah. Peel style. There's a good T-shirt. Hey, by the way, I you sent me that uh, message with the two minutes to midnight T-shirt. Yeah. I got it. Oh, I you bought did, one. Did you? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. So I wanted to support him. So yeah. It's awesome. And I got a I got a couple I got another one. I got a let like that Led Zeppelin Falling Angel one. 
I looked around a little bit, and then there's one where it's Peter Chris in uh, his makeup, and it says Catman instead of Batman. It's like in the Batman shape, and I got that too. So I supported them. Uh, I I saw my wife got um, showed me a picture of uh, Baby Yoda with yeah with Paul Stanley makeup. <laughs> he's 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 the child, the star child. Ah, I gotta see that. All right, I'll send it to you. Cool. But um, yeah, I mean, when I first saw that that uh shirt, I was like, what? I don't get this. And then I was like, but that's our main. Oh wait, yeah, okay. Now yeah, I, it's, I mean, it's like it's perfect. Yeah. You, you wear that around, and somebody gets that, you know, you got somebody cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I got one. I haven't worn it out yet. I just got here the other day. But I was like, that is awesome. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got it. I saw that on, um, I have to say, I saw that on uh, Instagram. And by far, I mean, of all the controversialness about people mining your data and sending you ads without your permission or whatever, mm-hmm. Instagram... Is the best, it? <laughs> it's, it's the best at it. Because I haven't seen one thing like, why are they sending me this? Or this is dumb. No, everything yeah. I've seen is awesome. And I, and I want everything that they show me. But I can't obviously can't afford every yeah. awesome t-shirt. Yeah. Because I showed I, I show my wife like some Baby Yoda shirts I wanted her to have. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they just have everything that they have ads for is just really good. Yeah. No, I mean. And you know what? I wouldn't have known about it if they hadn't advertised. Right. So, I don't think. So, this is trepublic.com, people. Yeah, trepublic. Better than, uh, what's the one we used to use? Cafe Press, way better oh, yeah. than that. Yeah. Well, Cafe like Press, though, T Republic is like their ideas. Oh, do they own them? <laughs> no, T Republic is like their ideas. Cafe Press is your ideas. Ah, okay. So, I mean, I guess you might could get like custom shirts on T Republic, but I don't, I'm not sure. But I know, like, see. It, they take submissions from. I mean, it's blatantly copyright ripoff, but yeah, hey. yeah. <laughs> and they take they take submissions from um, from uh, indie artists and stuff. Yeah, and that's who who makes those shirt designs. And I think they get something for it. You want to play a song? Let's play a song. All right. All right, so we're going to play the song tonight, and this is an old song called Sweet Solitude Glam Mix that I wrote many, 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 many years ago. It could be an Adam Swift song, but it wasn't. I don't know if we ever played it, um, but I came across it today. So it's, This is a produced version from 1990-something. It's long. Three minutes and 50 seconds, a little too long. That's not long. No? All right. Um, okay, here we go. It's kind of kind of glam. I don't know. I kind of like it, though.
All right, that was a fast three three minutes and fifty seconds. Yeah, let it run. Yeah, let it ru run a little bit longer. Let me finish his face. Yeah. Um, because it, it did something and it went back to can't the the not screen share but like regular camera. Ah, okay. So I just finished this real fast. Okay.